girls thank you so much for tuning into my channel if you're new here my name is shell love and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel also follow me on instagram at shell love for more amazing content like this so today we're going to talk about how to upload fonts to our windows computer also i will give you a few different types of fonts that i use on a normal basis and then also i will show you some places where you can get free and paid fonts so let's go over a few different fonts that i like to use so the first one is handwritten fonts and these are fonts that look like they were done by hand the next one is sans serif fonts and these are fonts that do not have bars on the ends of the letters. After that, we have script fonts, and these are fonts that are in cursive. Next, we have serif fonts, and these are fonts that have bars on the ends of the letters. And lastly, slab serif fonts, and these are thick fonts that have bars on the ends of the letters. So now we'll go into websites where you can download free and paid fonts. So the first place that I like to go is dafont.com. Here you can see there are a bunch of different fonts. On the right side, you'll see it'll say free for personal use or it'll say for commercial use. So make sure that you're looking at that when you download it. The next place I like to go to is 1001fonts.com. Here you're able to download free fonts for personal and commercial use. After that is fontsquirrel.com. You can also download free fonts here for personal and commercial use. The next place that I like to go to is Pinterest. If you go here, you can type in free fonts and then a lot of different users will have places where you can download their favorite fonts. And lastly, creativemarket.com. This is my absolute favorite place to go to for fonts. Um, they release free fonts and graphics every Monday. So if you go to get free goods, and you scroll down, they have a few different fonts here. They also have Instagram graphics, things like that. And you can also purchase fonts as well. And a cool thing about this website is if you were to ever for some reason lose the font or accidentally delete the font after you've downloaded it'll still be in your account if you make an account so you can go up to your profile and look in your purchases and this is where all of your purchases will be forever so this is my absolute favorite place to go to So now I will show you how to download a font onto your Windows computer. So let's go over to Get Free Goods and we'll scroll down and we'll just download Rossville. Perfect. So once you download it, you'll go to your downloads. And then you'll click on either one of these. And then you'll hit install. And now it's been installed. So if you wanna make sure that it's been installed on your computer, you just hit the start button at the bottom, type in font book or fonts, and then it should pop up. And then you just hit open and then you can search your font and there it is. Also, if you are wanting to work with this font in a program, when you download it, you have to make sure 
that your program is closed because it won't update if you're already in the program while you're downloading it. So let's go to a program. So here I'm just gonna show you that it's been downloaded onto your Windows computer. a super quick and easy way to learn how to download fonts places that you can find those fonts and different types of fonts that you can use thank you so much for tuning into my channel and watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below also follow me on instagram at shell love bye loves